Hi everyone, this is Diane. It is Friday, um, around 11.30 at night, so you really have to excuse my appearance. This is me after a long day, a long week, since you guys know about my testing. I told, I think I talked about it in my last video, but what a hectic week it's been, and it's just been the same this past week. It's just been hectic, so I'm glad that it's Friday. I'm glad that I have a couple of days just to catch up for me time because it's been rough. So, but anyway, I wanted to share some goodies with you guys because I went to Tuesday morning again. I wasn't going to go. Remember, I had bought some things on Sunday and said, you know, this is it. I'm not going to go over, all over town looking for stuff. But I wanted to go in there because uh, someone had commented that they liked the paper pads I had bought. And I wanted to go in the, into this particular Tuesday morning that's close to the house to see if they had them. And they didn't. So that's the only reason I went in there. And I was about to leave. I was this close to walking out. But then I turned to the right. And there on the end cap is all the Martha Stewart stuff that I had not purchased at the other Tuesday morning. And the other Tuesday morning had all a bunch of paints and glitters. But then... I didn't have any interest, but the minute, the minute people start showing it and I start watching haul videos, those paints and glitter start looking beautiful. So as much as I, I didn't get any, I, was, I had them in my basket, I had like 10 of them, and I'm like, I don't need this, like seriously, I do not need this, so I took that out. I'm not saying that what I bought today I need, but I need, I guess I need this more than I needed the paints. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started. So the first thing I bought was this uh, punch. And I really don't need to be buying any punches. Like, that's for sure I don't need to be getting because I have the Cricut. Um, I could easily make this shape. But it's sometimes it's just easier to get a punch out and start punch, punch, punching them out as opposed to getting the mat, finding the design, setting the Cricut, getting, it's just, it can be a little bit tedious, so this is a lot easier. So anyway, this is the box it came in, it's called the Extra Large Punch um, Flourish. So this is the design, so that's $5.99, and it says that the normal, the regular price, the, comp the price that you can find it at is almost $22, and sure enough, I went online, and it is, you, it is $22 for this punch, it's ridiculous. So six dollars, and this punch is, it should not be called extra large, it should be called ginormous. Look at this, it's huge. Like there's my hand wrapped around it. Look at that. It is a huge punch. So there's the shape as you can see. But it is, and I like it because you can stand it up, but if this thing is heavy. It's just so big, I don't know. I saw the box, but I thought it was more like uh, packaging in it. But that punch filled up the entire box. So anyway, I punched out a couple just so I can see how, and it was just so quick, punch, 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 and there you go, you have your, your tags. So that's your labels. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed this punch. So $5.99. Then I found these stickers for my sister, because again, I mentioned before, she's really into cupcakes, so I grabbed two of them for her, and these are 99 cents. And my Texas trip is coming up. You guys know that I usually go to Texas for about... Between three and a half, three to three and a half weeks uh, during the summer. So that trip is coming up soon. I can't wait. I really miss going home. And these are the candy. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry. These are the candy ones. So I grabbed two for me. Um, I grabbed this stylus. And this was $2.99. I grabbed these little itty bitty stamps. They're 324 pieces. They look like that. I hadn't seen anybody show these, but um, I thought they were just super duper cute to use for my planner. And these were $2.99. And then I saw these beautiful flowers, these fabric flowers, for $0.99. Cents. It's like a mauve color. And then like a light, like a pastel purple, or a lilac. And then I found these as well wildflower and that's in purple I don't know the camera looks like it's gray but it's really purple and then you have like another pastel or lilac and then you have a cream color at the bottom so that's all that I bought when I went to the Tuesday morning this was yesterday um, I didn't go super crazy but I wasn't going to buy anything anymore and I ended up buying all these goodies right here so um, 
and I'm still seeing people buying things that I haven't seen. I'm like, oh, quit showing stuff. And I know that I shouldn't be watching it, but it's just very hard to just avoid it. So anyway, um, tomorrow I got to do some, I got to run some errands because I plan to do absolutely nothing on Mother's Day. You're talking, I'm not doing anything. I'm not buying groceries that day. I'm not washing. I'm doing everything tomorrow because Sunday is my day. So my husband already knows. My son knows. They know that I'm not doing anything. So they better... They better cook for me. I, I don't really like going out to dinner on Mother's Day, especially on a Sunday. My husband usually cooks something for me. So, anyway, so we're going to have Mother's Day dinner at home. So, um, what else? Um, oh, yeah, I want to share the freckled fawn grab bags that I bought. So, let me get those ready. <sighs> okay, guys, so these are the freckled fawn grab bags that were sold, I think, last week. Um, I think these are called like the oops where they made some sort of mistake and they can't sell them so they sell them as a grab bag. So these were five bucks. So this is the first one and a couple of them are repeats. So this is the first pattern of the bag. This is the second pattern. And then this is the third pattern. So I'm going to share the, the contents of the bags but I'm going to speed up the video just to make it quicker. But I will share the goodies that came in each of the bags. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. that came in the grab bag so for five bucks I don't think that the it wasn't that bad of a deal I mean you get a lot of product in here eight to ten items and it's stuff that I don't have so even though some you saw are repeats um, not bad I don't need all that washi though did you see those these huge rolls it's ginormous these are huge and uh, I have to I think it's time for me to start having a giveaway because I'm I can include some of those washies in the giveaway because it's just too many washies for me to be keeping. There's no need for me to have all that washi. So I'm working on putting a little giveaway together here in the near future. So do keep an eye out for that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to share with you guys are some items that I bought online from this small card kit or project life kit, I should say. So let me go ahead and get that ready for you guys. Okay, before I share the kits with you, I made some more paper clips last night. I made these. I made these in purple. Well, these are the blue ones, and then these are the purple ones. So, you know, I have all these little embellishments and a ton of paper clips. So I decided let me go ahead and um, make some of these, and I am going to put some of these in a the giveaway. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm collecting little things here and there for a giveaway. So, these were embellishments that I had. And then I just attach the um, embellishment to the paper clip. And then on the back, I just cut glitter paper. So if you can see, like, right behind the stone, or not the stone, the gem, you can see the glittered paper. So I have it in purple, and then I have it in blue. And then, of course, the back is just going to be white. So 
and then I just ordered some more paper clips from Staples because I have not been able to find any paper clips. I was just finding the standard silver ones, but I wanted like different colored ones. So I found these um, and I had a bunch of these that I had bought at the Dollar Tree, I think at the beginning of the of the school year, which was in August. And I haven't been able to find them. I've been going to Staples, to Office Depot, and I wasn't able to find them. So I was, I had to order them online ridiculously enough. And I bought these in these colors, and then these in gold. So I am going to be making some more paper clips because it's fun and it's a great way to use embellishments that you know that are just sitting around. At least for me, because I usually just have things sitting around. Okay, so let me get go ahead and get that other stuff ready. Um, the other stuff that I bought online. Okay, so this is from Studio 29 Designs, and this is a uh, Project Life kit, and it's called the Take 10 Kits, and I ordered these, and she sent the, she wrote in the bag, thank you so much for your order, I hope you enjoy the kit, Sarah Mitchell, and you can find them, there is the hashtag, the at, and the uh, email address, and then you can find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Um, these are kits that are put together every month, but it's not by subscription. So you have to follow Studio 29 on Facebook and follow the group, and then they let you know when the kits are going to be up on sale. Usually the same day every uh, same day every month, like it's on the 16th or something to that. If, I don't remember the date, but I had been ordering from them since they started with the kids. Um, maybe back in November, or December, or even maybe even October. But then, because it's not by subscription, I forget. I, I I forget. I do get a notification that they're going to be going on for. They're going to be put up for sale. But I forget, and before I know it, they're sold out. But anyway, she had a flash sale. I guess where she had leftover kits, so I was able to catch up on one of them. And I had I had already had two of the prior ones that I ordered. But I figure sometimes I like to have double of certain cards, so I'm glad that I purchased them. So let me go ahead and share those goodies with you. So first, I'm going to share the stamp one stamp set that I bought and everything else I'm just gonna speed it up well let me just share with you it comes in a little baggie like this more like this and it'll give you the the title of the theme it stuck to me and it'll give you the month like this is January 2015 and of course it's like her business card and on the back you have all the goodies so I'm gonna speed this up as I share it with you guys but I wanted to share this stamp set with you and this one reads, from my home to yours, special delivery, hooray for happy mail, snail bell, snail bell, snail mail is the best mail, better than email, and that's awful. So, I was very fortunate, I had been wanting this stamp set, and then it sold out, and then she was able to get some more, and I was able to purchase this, so I love this stamp set. Okay, so let me go ahead and share the kits with you. guys is these cards are like really really sturdy very good quality cards these are not flimsy at all as you can hear it I mean these are pretty thick and each kit does come with a little stamp set as well and it's I think like a little two by three or two by four a two by three it's a two by three little stamp set so it's like ten dollars and like I said you just need to go onto their site and they will um, not there. You can go to the site or the their page on Facebook. Okay, let me go ahead and continue with the rest of the kits because I have two other ones to show you.
loving the colors of this particular kit and I'm not even sure what month it is but the colors are so bright I am loving it Okay, so those were my kits for the Take 10 kits. Um, again, you can find them on Facebook from Studio 29. Lots of fun goodies in there. I like it because they're they're not overwhelming with with item. You know, for 10 bucks, you get exactly what you need with the stamp and the cards and stuff like that. So I am loving those kits. I'm hoping that I can keep up with them more so that I don't miss them because I really like the quality of the paper. I like the embellishments that come in there and the stamps are really really cute as well so I'm loving those kits. But that's it guys. Uh, I don't have anything else to share with you. Nope. I think that's it. Um, I am going to be very busy tomorrow because like I said I'm not doing a thing on Mother's Day. I'm doing nothing. This is where I'm going to be right here. I'm going to be working on my d stash videos. I'm going to be putting those videos up. But in case I don't come on here before, I want to wish each and every one of you a very, very happy Mother's Day. And I hope you have a restful, joyful day filled with love from family and friends and anything else, uh, anyone else that's involved in your life. So that's it, guys. I hope everyone has a great Saturday and even more beautiful Sunday. And we will definitely chit chat on the next video. And I think I am tired. I'm so sleepy. So I'm going I'm going to upload this video and then I am going to bed. So we'll chit chat on the next video, guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.